My name is Vanessa Cardial, and I'm going to talk to you today about the tomb of Emperor Nitoku, located in Osaka, Japan. The tomb itself is in the shape of a keyhole. Sakai Zenpo Koen Fun, uh, which means keyhole lock, is during the 5th century Kofun period. In image A, the largest keyhole-shaped tomb is Emperor Nitoku's, and it's surrounded by other different sizes of keyhole-shaped tombs. These are representative of other uh, higher ruling class from the 3rd to the 7th century. In image B, uh, this is an aerial view of the tomb. There are three moats, the largest being the one surrounding the keyhole tomb itself. In image C, this is a comparison between a pyramid in Giza, Egypt. It is uh, King Khufu's pyramid. And as you can see, the tomb of Emperor Nitoku is the third largest in the world, so bigger than the pyramid. It's very grand. Other types of burial mounds are Empun, round tomb mound, Hofun, which is square tomb mound, Zempo Koen Fun, which is front square and rear round tomb mound, uh, Zempo Ko Fun, which is front square and rear square tomb mound. And these mounds, they have different layers. So the tomb of Emperor Natoku has three, which gradually incline in getting smaller. Um, others can be two. Or, as for instance, Empun, the round tomb mound, which is no layer. Kofun period, which is 250 to 538 AD. Kofun meaning megalithic tombs. Burial mounds dated in Kofun period. This is the time of monarchs and warlords conquering towns, and is also characterized by the Shinto culture, which existed prior to Buddhism. Kofun culture was a time of bronze, iron, weaving, and hanawa, which is pottery figurines. Uh, the burial mounds were built for the class ruling from the 3rd to the 7th century, 7th century in Japan. The culture practiced rich funerary rituals in earth mounds. So the hanawa, which is uh, pottery, they come in different forms of chickens, birds, fish, warriors, houses, or horses. And these potteries were placed around mounds at the base, so the number of figurines could be thousands around the mound bases. And as you saw in image A, there was more than one keyhole mound, so you can just picture all these hanawa uh, being placed around these mounds using tons of people to make these, especially the mounds itself. Hanawa, which is the ritual use, uh, produced to accompany the dead uh, which surrounded the mounds during the Kofu period. So the funeral practices was protecting the deceased from the living. So in the image, you can see the different Hanawa being placed around the mound. And this is just to get a visual idea or aid into all the mounds having all these figurines. And you can even see the warriors in the lower right. Um, but it's a very good visual of, of what to picture when you see these mounds, and possibly to get an idea of what they have looked like during the Kofun period. So artifacts from Kofu period. Uh, this one is a Hanawa. It's a hollow clay sculpture of a boar with bound feet. It's the Kofun period from 300 to 710, 5th century Japan, and it's earthenware. And this other artifact is a bracelet modeled on shell ornament, a Kofun period from 300 to 710, uh, 4th century Japan, and it's actually made out of green steatite with red pigment. Another thing about these bracelet uh, modeled on shell ornament, um, they can also be called Sharon Seki, it's a carriage wheel stone. And they're sometimes identified as stone bracelets. Um, they could be talismans with magical or religious significance, but they don't appear in barrels until the later Kofun period. So the meaning of them could have faded uh, because of the rise of the Buddhist culture that began in the 6th century. 
Emperor Notoku, a 16th Emperor of Japan, 313 to 399 AD. Uh, he originally didn't want to become emperor after his father died, but because his brother committed suicide in an attempt to not become the emperor, Nintoku had to take the throne. So his achievements, he constructed a thorn field bank called Nanawa no Hori to prevent a flood in Kiwachi Plains and for development. He established a thorn field estate under the direct control of the imperial court. He also constructed a Yokono ban. And on the image, that is a depiction of Emperor Natoku. So possible reason for the keyhole. There isn't really any known information on the reason of the keyhole's shape other than that the burial mounds resemble some aspects of the Jamon practices of burying the dead in sacred mountain. And those sacred mountains are the burial mounds. Uh, the resemblance of the Jamon period and the Kofun period is similar in the area of the Shinto religion. This could mean that the practice of burial mounds got swept up in into new traditions over a period of time. Um, it could possibly um, be that that's how Origin the Mound started, but it's not necessarily the shape itself. I hope you enjoyed my information on the Tomb of Emperor Natoku.